Hi, I'm Pete Forsyth, principal of the Wikipedia training and consulting firm Wiki Strategies. And today I'm just going to show you a quick tip on how to use different language versions of Wikipedia, even when you're not familiar with that language. So to get started, I'm going to just show an example where I took a photo a few years ago and I placed it on the Wikipedia article in English. It's this photo over here on the right. And so if I go back to this photo now and click on it, uh, I'm going to find that it's actually used on several different pages in Wikipedia. So if you scroll to the bottom of a, an image page on Wikipedia, I see here this looks like a, a user page on the German Wikipedia. I think someone has just uh, added it to a gallery in their personal user space. And then it's also in an article on Japanese Wikipedia. Now, I don't read or speak any Japanese at all. Um, but I am interested, so if I click on that, I'm going to see this article apparently on Miles Standish, uh, the person that the monument is named after. And also, if you look up at the top here, you'll see I'm still logged in because I was logged in on the English Wikipedia. And there is a notification here. Uh, and if I hover over that, I see some uh, some more Japanese text. And uh, this orange bar I recognize, I, I think that says you have a new message, because that's what I'm used to it saying in the English language Wikipedia. But apart from that, I can't really tell very much about what I'm seeing on the page here. Well, what I'm going to do is go over to the left and scroll down. And you will see this, uh, this menu over here that shows several different languages. Here I can see English, French. And then I'm not sure, I think that might be Korean and simple English. So these are uh, other languages that have an article with, uh, with the same topic as this. So all you need to do is find that section. And if you click on this little gear, it will give you some options. And you can choose the interface that you're looking at Wikipedia in. So I'm going to click on English here. And you'll notice that even this window changes before I apply that that change and now all of a sudden I'm seeing some uh, some English language and if I click apply settings now you'll see not the article itself but all of the menu items here on the left hand side and up at the top have changed to English now I'm looking at the the media wiki interface in English so it tells me up here you have new messages and I can now click on that again it's still going to be in Japanese when I look at my talk page but uh, I am at least now seeing some English. Now, I'm not sure why that didn't stick. Uh, that should be a preference that, that stays. But if it doesn't, I can always just go back and apply it on any page that I'm looking at. So this is a nice little trick if you're, if you're trying to track an article topic across multiple language versions of Wikipedia, uh, or if you're trying to communicate with people in other languages. It pairs well with tools like Google Translate, uh, and it'll help you get around more easily among the different language versions of Wikipedia. For watching the video, if you're interested in learning more about Wikipedia, you may want to check the links on your screen.